Hey, this Judgment Awaits with 3DayRespawn.com and you are looking at my desktop at home and I'm going to show you what to do once you capture some video, how do you get it recorded and upload to YouTube and you're going to have to render it and everything like that. Alright, so now, uh, right now I'm using this Microsoft Expressions Encoder 4. That's just uh, something that you can download for free that you can record on your PC. Um, the only problem is you only can go up to 10 minutes. Um, now, we want to get into the actual recording software and that's total media extreme and here it is and this is what I use this is what you get free with the hop hog HD PVR and this is what you record your gameplay with so that first one is the capture um, and then this other utility right here this is where you can actually convert your file and that's pretty useful um, back to the capture though I'm gonna click on that and this is what comes up all right and let me just move it over here in the center okay so here is the source obviously it's the hop Hapog as the source, your video um, inputs, you know, component, you don't want to use the S video or the composite. Um, RCA back, I don't know what that means to be honest. <laughs> That's just what I have. It's probably just the default setting. Uh, two channel, device settings, uh, format settings. Here's my device settings. I don't think I really, you know, did that too much, but you can move that up to change, you know, the, the brightness and contrast and hue and everything of your video. So, you know, try a different you know a few different ways record it see how it comes out record it again just do some short records and see what you like the best on it um, but there you can see all the settings that I have for that um, I've got it at CNTSCM whatever that means I have no clue um, but yeah you can see all these other things and how I have it it's probably majority is default settings um, there were a couple things that I changed uh, but you can see what I'm recording at and uh, the format setting or let me go device settings um, here's the 1280 by 720 and I changed the um, this to 10 and for faster games and everything like that first person shooters I'd recommend you do that pump it up to 10 you don't have to go any further than that but that's about the only thing that you probably have to change all right, now here you can set it as PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, and that changes what the format is. If you can see down here, MP4, you know, for the Xbox 360, and the PlayStation is the the other one. Um, now, normally, you know, for the most part, I use the PlayStation 3 setting, but here just recently, I started using the Xbox 360, and I've been going with the MP4 setting just like that a little bit better but whichever way you record it you know here I'm gonna hit capture and then I will resize this um, and blow it up so that you can see what it normally looks like All right, so this is normally how it is you know and it's recording right now you can see in the bottom left hand side you can hit capture and stop and uh, I just got a little gameplay right here so that you can see it but that's basically how you record it and so it's going to save it on your computer wherever you set that up to save now I'm going to switch over to my Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum I have version 11 and I'll show you what to do with your video once you get it there oh but before I switch over let me show you what you do say you have a piece of software that doesn't let you modify mp4 or the m2ts files all right you can go back to this total media extreme now you want to click on this wrench over here and here's the media converter all right so that'll load up and uh, my computer's chugging right now all right there we go all right so this is what pops up it's got the Microsoft Xbox 360 setting you could change it to Sony and PlayStation and everything like that um, and you can see what it's going to well let me add a file here um, I'm going to go file the, find the file that I just recorded, and there's the MP4 one that I did, and there's the other video I, I did it in the other setting too. But I'm going to bring it here. All right, and so you can see over here what it creates. It's going to create a WMV file when I change it, when I convert it. So um, I just hit start, and it would convert that. You're probably looking at about an hour for 10 minutes, depending on your computer speed. All right, so now you should have a file that you can work with, and I'm going to go over to my Sony software. Okay, so you have your recorded video. I'm going to open up my Vegas Movie Studio, or you're going to open up whatever software you're using. All right, if you're using Sony Vegas, I'll show you what I do and how I do it. All right, so I want to create a new project, or you could open up an existing project or one you've done before. 
but I'm going to do a new one. All right, I've got it set as Americas and Japan for the region. I've got stereo, internet video, and internet HD for the project. All right, and that tells me that it's going to put out a 1280 by 720, a 29.97 FPS progressive file. All right, so let me title this. I'm going to call it Record 4. All right, this is where it saves it as. And then I'm going to put this manage project file. And what that does is it creates this folder called record four, and then it creates everything else that I do with this um, in that folder. So it just keeps it all nice and together. So I'm just going to click OK. All right, so now here is the layout of it. And um, I'm going to grab, look for, I'm in Explore, this tab right here. This is where I find the media that I want to add to it. All right, and I'm going to find my intro. There's my judgment intro. I'm going to drag it down in here. So I have a video file here and an audio file here that comes in or it separates it. All right. So um, you can move this in different areas. Now, over here on the left, you've got a place to put text that you might want to put on your video. I rarely do that. So I'm just going to minimize that. And here's two video layers and here's three audio layers. And that's pretty much all you're going to need to create this video. All right. So now, um, let me find a file now some gameplay all right here's one that I went and I'm gonna drag it over here and put it in here so here's my actual video that you know that I just captured or I would have just captured uh, something similar all right and you can click in here and see different places what that looks like so now um, I'm gonna cut it down just so it's easier to work with so you click anywhere in here say you've got a part you want to cut out say you're playing hardcore team deathmatch and you don't want to show the parts where you died at you know where it's going to somebody else uh, you click wherever that is and then you just press S and that splits it okay so maybe this is where I came back to life or respawn I'm gonna click S again then I click on this in between here and I hit just I just hit delete alright and then I could slide this over but I'm just gonna get rid of this so it's easier to work with so I just clicked on it and hit delete alright and then I normally put my judgment intro on the back of it alright say you wanted to work with this video and say you wanted it to fade alright you could go to these corners and see that fade offset all right, you just click it, left click it, you just bring bring it over here, and then you could fade it. All right, so when I play it, I'm gonna click right before it. I hit play, and watch how it starts fading and getting darker, and you could, you know, fade it out or whatever you wanted to do it. So that's one thing that you can do. Remember, you can always go, you know, hit your undo button. Where is it? Yeah, there's it. All right, there's your undo. Anything that you do, say I accidentally deleted this. All right, just hit undo and you can bring it back in here. All right, so don't be afraid to play around with stuff. Just remember you got that undo button. All right, so that's video wise. Um, say you wanted to have another video in video. I could drag another video right to this one. Whatever one is on top, that will be, you know, the top layer and show first. Anything underneath it won't show. So I could bring a video in here, say of me playing put it in here and it would show over top then I'd click on this crop and I could resize that video to be smaller and put it in the corner of of this area all right so I'm not going to show you that because it's a little detailed and normally you won't do that but like when I do my connect videos I'll do that and I can show you how to do that if you're interested in a later video all right so I have my video in here um, if I push um, I've got a wheel on my mouse. If I wheel it, I can expand this, you know, so I can get a better view of where stuff is at. This really helps when you're dealing with, you know, your sound and everything like that. Say I did a commentary, you know, say these were words I could, you know, clip out an area. Like, say I accidentally said something, you know, just separate that, get rid of it, you know, and everything like that. But I don't want to do that. Um, but that wheel helps you for zooming in, I guess. That's the way to say on these video areas and getting a more precise area. You can use this pause button and play. That will actually play through the video. And you can hit stop or pause, and that will pause at a certain area, you know, wherever you want to. So that's how you kind of make you uh, get around the video part. Now, something, let me show you a quick trip. When you're using Call of Duty videos, right click on the video, go to properties, and hit this disable resample. All right. Normally these videos, when you do it, they look a little blurry. 
but if you click this disable resample it really helps the video out and sharpens it up and I don't know if you noticed that up in this preview area but that really helped that out so um, remember to do that when you're using Call of Duty videos and other gameplay videos you know it'll really help it out alright so uh, I have my gameplay I have my sound from it now there's different sound channels um, say I wanted my sounds to be different you know say I wanted I can adjust the volume right here so I want my intro to be louder I want my game volume to be softer so I don't hear it as much and now I want to add my commentary so you gotta have a mic hooked up and make sure that your your mic is the default recording device alright um, then you just hit this button it's gonna ask you where do you want to put everything and it's automatically gonna put it in that folder that you did so just hit OK all right, and you can see that when I'm talking here, it is, you know, showing through there. So now I'm just going to hit record. Now I'm going to turn off this game volume so I don't get any of that in it. So I'm just going to mute it for right now. All right, and then I'm going to hit this button down here to record it. So blah, 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 blah. It's recording what I'm saying and blah, 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 blah. And then when you're done, you know, you can just hit stop. All right, and then just click done and it's there it created a separate file that saves it in that original file you created so now say I said something wrong I don't like it I'm just gonna zoom in with my mouse and this word right here I wanted to cut out you know I could just hit s hit s again right after the word click on it hit delete and it's gone so say you know I said something I didn't want to say you know you can cut it out and you know change it that way so um, now another way to change volumes all right I'm gonna unmute this all right if you go up here into the top if you drag it down that actually take, takes the volume down too this is helpful say you have a bunch of different channels all right and say these channels are together and you want to keep this one part loud right here but you want this part to be softer you know just drag that down you know so that's gonna be really soft now or I can bring it back up otherwise you can just use the channels and everything like that and that's the same thing with the video you know say you wanted this whole thing to be a little bit darker you know there I just uh, changed the contrast or the brightness there we go down and, and brought it down so but I'm gonna bring it back up here alright now oh boy you have tons of transitions alright see all these different things right here on this left top left um, you can put different transitions say you I got a split right here and say you know it's different I could drag this to right here and then when this video is done it transitions to this video so there's lots of different transitions I don't really use them that much so I'm not even going to show you them now there's also the video FX tab say you wanted it to be brighter all right you click on this brightness and contrast I want it to be brighter my video I just left click here drag it down over here and um, it's gonna bring up this tab say I want it to be a whole lot brighter and a whole lot more contrast and change the contrast you know that's basically what you do and um, see that if I would have had it over there you could have seen that so but let me drag it back down so you know adjust these to where you want them that you think look good you know and then you just close it out you can change the color balance all these different video FX you can do huh? and there's a ton there that you can play with and everything like that I don't really mess around with those too much unless I'm doing a zombie video because zombie videos are usually a little too dark and everything like that now um, that's basically how you edit the the video and everything I'm gonna turn this thing off so it's not buzzing you got your preview here you can change you know if you want a better preview or a good preview you know depending on how good your computer is uh, the one I'm working on right now it isn't the greatest so I'm just leaving it here here's your you, know, you can make it bigger here's your volume master volume control and everything like that um, these are your tabs though you can trim your media and everything like that but I find it easier just to use that S you know click on it hit S and cut it out that way and everything like that um, back to the Explorer tab that's where all your media is going to be you can find it over in here all right and um, once you save your project media it'll be over here in this this area that you can find it so but say I got my video done now I'm ready to render it you know I need to put it all together and basically record it as it is so I'm gonna go project render as all right this output 
this render as uh, dialog box comes up. I can change the name, but I'm just going to leave it at that, and it's going to save it into that file that we created earlier. All right, now format-wise, I like to use Sony, and um, it creates an MP4. You can also use a Windows Media Video, a WMV. All right, and that's what I used to do. I think the MP4 comes out a little bit better, but Record it both ways and see which one you like better, all right, depending on what, you know, video you're doing. Uh, if I was doing the Windows Media video, I would click on this 6 megabytes per second HD 72030p, all right, and you can star these different ones just to help you remember which ones you use. So um, that's what I used to do. Now I use the MP4 from Sony, so I'm going to expand it, go down here. And there I've got the internet. It's the 1280 by 720, the 30p. Stick with that 30p because you record at the 29.97. That's the closest that matches it. So um, here's what you know stats are and what it creates and everything like that. And you can check that out. So that's what I use. Now the difference between MP4s and the WMV files. The MP4 file, when you upload it to YouTube, it uploads the file and then it processes the video. With the WMV file, it uploads the video and processes it at the same time, which is nice. But I want to get it uploaded and then turn off my computer, you know, so I don't have to worry about it while it's processing. So that's why I use the MP4 too, you know, because it uploads faster, but then you have to wait for it to process it where the WMV, it uploads and processes it at the same time, but it takes longer. So I want to get in there, get done, because I'm usually doing this late, like at midnight, and uh, this helps me do that. So I got my things. You can custom create a template and everything like that. You know, if, you've, if you're if you an AV guru, video guru, you know, and you know these settings a lot better, you can do that that way. So then I just click render, and it takes about, oh... Uh, it, it doesn't take as long for the MP4 as a WMV. You know, a 10-minute file used to take close to an hour. You know, but it's it's quicker for the W for the MP4. I can't remember how long it takes for that. Um, just remember, you know, you've got some, some time invested in here. It's it's not as easy as or as it seems. You know, there are a lot of nights that I'm staying up really late working on these. But um, hopefully, this helps you out. You know, if you got any questions or I didn't explain anything very well. Just let me know, and I'll, I'll explain it a little bit better. I'll add some notes to the video, or I'll get back to you. And seriously, I hope this helps you out, and I hope you get some videos up. If you got a YouTube channel that you're starting, and you want me to check it out, you know, send me a message, and I'd, I'd love to subscribe to you and see what videos you're doing. Uh, but as always, guys, take care, and God bless.